Hey there, and welcome back to Her Radical. Let's gear up. Because today we're going to try to tackle Matron Amara again. I'm going to use the spark, I think. Um, I'm not a fan of intelligence, but we'll take it. Oh, okay. Uh, let's take that one. That one looks uh, pretty good there. But it has intelligence versus dexterity. Um, yeah, I'll keep the one. That is a big upgrade. And that's also an upgrade. And a cape, always handy. Let's see what... I was hoping for a potion of elixir of dexterity, so we got that one. Um, I have 34 coins left. Now, do I want to do strength or get a reroll? I'll go for the reroll because I'm kind of looking for specific skills to, uh, to try to tackle that boss. I don't think he has anything to chat with us. Nope. Now we're going to be crossing the bridge. The fifth crossing. And also, in between the last episode and this episode, the developers actually made a big change to the darkness mechanic. I'll speak to that, about that in a moment here. So what they did is, when you reach the number 45, instead of going to that alternate reality, the Abyss boss or the whatever it was called, they now have something where it actually gives a buff to your opponent. So the longer you run around with 45, in this case 45 out of 45, the opponents will be buffed. I have some nice boots there actually. I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna keep those I think. Yeah. So the 45 out of 45, you can then cleanse at certain ritual altars, and uh, we'll see those shortly. Because it works it's still the same. So the moment you reach that number, and um, yeah, I wasn't looking for either one of those. I'm kind of hoping for Execute. I mean, Magma, Magma Orb is really nice, but... Uh, Dragon's Breath, I, I'm not a big fan of. I, I'm not really sure how strong that would be. Now let's just level up my Spark, and hopefully next time we can choose uh, Execute. But either way, that number still builds up from every kill that you make. It will add up to that number, to the 45. And then when you reach the max, like I said, the opponents will get a buff. They will be stronger, do more damage, have more health, things like that, until you cleanse, let's call it, let's call it the darkness, I guess, at an altar. And there are several located throughout the map. And then you also have to choose a certain debuff, actually two debuffs. We'll come to that. But because the devs, the devs received a lot of uh, negative feedback about the darkness mechanic. Um, I, I will just keep my bow here, of course. Oh, I didn't think I was going to pull that whole group here, but that should not be a problem. As long as I can uh, advance in the opposite direction. Um, yeah, that one is actually better, the common one. Yeah, I'll, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if magic entails all the magic schools of magic, but I'm not really sure. So the devs made that change, and uh, also the they have indicated that uh, the change is not going to be permanent. They are still trying to figure out how they can incorporate that darkness realm into the game again, it sounds like, which I'm, I'm okay with it. But it's an interesting change, and we'll, uh, we'll talk about that later when we actually get to that point where I have that debuff or those debuffs on me. Oh. Yeah, this is the problem, right? I only spark, I don't have the AoE, so um, I'll get my steps in for the day, that's for sure. Okay, we have a level, hopefully I'll get uh, my execute. Because for a boss fight, AoE is... It's okay, but you know you really want to have execute or the, the speed increase for your bow. So let's see here. Ah, there's execute. Perfect. So again, um, I will have to kite a little bit more with the groups. Because I don't have the AOE, but uh, I should be fine. Let's take care of this little wizard or whatever this thing is. 
Can I reach these guys on top here? Um, I don't think they aggro, do they? No, see, because of the... I don't have that fireball, I can't hit these guys on top that easily. I don't think I can reach these guys, can I? I can reach that guy. Oh, but there's a chest. Um, again, the same problem here. Oh. Uh, oh, that looks like a, a really nice cape there. Dexterity and uh, resistances all over the place. Let's grab that one. Yeah, these guys on the roof I have to do in another in another direction here. Oh, okay, that's uh, didn't think that was gonna work there, but So if you have seen the previous episode you've seen that the boss really completely destroyed me. Uh, let me see here. Uh, critical strike damage I'm a big fan of. So I'll grab those. But yeah, if you've seen the previous episode, you've seen that the boss, well, completely utterly destroyed me. Um, I do think I know kind of why, and I did look into it. This, uh, weirdly enough, I cannot find much information about this boss fight on YouTube or uh, even on Reddit. But um, I did find some tips, and I will discuss that when we do the boss fight, because otherwise it gets confusing, because she has several AoEs. Uh, we'll just level up uh, Spark for now. Now, even though this is the fastest, well, kind of the fastest way to the boss, you can actually go faster. You want to make sure you have some levels that will increase your damage, also with your, uh, in this case, spark and execute, of course. So it's something you want to work towards. But also, um, I noticed that in that episode, in the previous episode, I didn't have full health, which didn't help. Not, I don't think, honestly, that would have made a difference. Because I was all over the place in that fight, and yeah, it was really not the... Uh... Uh, by the way, in the left bottom here, you can see that ritual. Again, uh, we'll get to that shortly. Right now I'm at uh, 39 out of 45 uh, opponents that I've killed. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. Um, oh, this one is decent, decent. Movement speed is pretty important for that boss fight. So we're going to grab that one. Uh, decay resistance, hit points. Yeah, this is kind of tough. Um, because it... The boss doesn't do decay damage, but we'll uh, take it because of the hit points. Uh, strike damage, plus barbarian skills, hey! Because we have a barbarian skill, where is it at? I think it's execute as the barbarian skill. Spark is Windseeker, there you go. So that is really, really nice. A plus one to that skill. Yeah, I cannot reach that one. Ooh. And this is four, so this puts me actually at 43 out of 45. You cannot do anything on the altar until you you basically have that, let's call it that darkness debuff on you. So we have 43 out of 45, I have to kill two more. Also, you definitely don't want to do the boss fight with that debuff on you. That, uh, <laughs> that wouldn't be uh, going well. So yeah, the execute can crit real nice now. So, uh, I'm not sure what this does, by the way. The memento that you pick up. Um, you have it listed here. It's a devotee's burden. A memento of a fallen cursed soul. So offered to con convoke the abyss. So, I, I think this might be currency or item that you need to actually be able to use the altars to begin with. Because right now, you can see in the right bottom, we have that one debuff. So, now you have to make a choice. Do I want to lose one experience point by enemy slain? Which I'm picking, because the other one was 9 movement speed penalty, Yeah, we're not going to do that. And then, you know, the, the dash range is last for 20 enemies, which is pretty cool. Because now I have to make sure that I kill them, 20, and have my normal dash back. Because you can see if I dash now, see how little that is? There's hardly any distance anymore. Because that's kind of the debuff that you're dealing with right now. So you get cleansed at the altar, but you get one temporary debuff, and one looks like it's really a, 
uh, more about your gear that you can swap out, by the way. Um, so if I get another drop, I can actually remove that gear that has that debuff on it, if it would be an upgrade. Um, yeah, we'll keep the bow. Uh, I will cr the critical strike damage for me is just uh, one of my favorite stats, so I'll always keep that one. Okay, we can get that guy here. But yeah, now we're kind of cleansed. Um, I don't think I can reach these guys. I'm only level 6 though, so I, I, I kind of want to get some more experience. I want to kind of do the boss at level 8, 9, if that's possible. Because that basically means I will still have 2 or 3 upgrades to my skills. And with more chances of drops. It's just a... Uh, it's kind of a trade-off, like just like I said in the previous episode, because that stays the same. If I kill another 45 guys, I'm gonna have another debuff on me, potentially, all my gear. And something else to choose from, because right now I have that, well, let's call it lucky. I just have to kill 20 people and I get my normal dash distance back. So I have no AoE, but um, with this <laughs> with this bad dash, I'm not sure if I want to... Oh, that's actually more. Uh, now I'm going to keep the Barbarian skill. But yeah, the, the rats, I don't have an AoE right now. And with my shorter dash distance, it's kind of uh, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Can I shoot over this wall here? I shoot through the gate. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I can, should, should be able to aim through that gate. So here we go. Let's just keep him out of distance. My, I do a lot of damage, though. It's not AOE damage, but I do a lot of damage with an executing that spark now. So let's uh, do Ring Around the Rosie again. As you can see, when I dash, I see my distance is really, really, really not far. So I take a little bit of damage there. It's probably unnecessary, but... One more enemy to kill, and then I get my normal dash back. Let's see uh, what kind of drops we're getting here. Uh, cryomancer skill. I'm not even sure what that is. I'll keep my damage. Uh, oh, oh, that uh, looks pretty good. Uh, oh, that oh, that is actually the unique bow that can drop here. We unlock that with a prophecy. Uh, well, it's my luck, I guess. I lose a little bit of armor, but that bow is looks like super fast. 80% attack speed. Wow. Um, that's going to make things interesting. Yeah, I'm going to keep. Uh, well, I'm going to keep my barbarian skills. I think the damage of execute is just so much more than I think. You get basically one level higher level of execute. Okay, we need to kill one more and I get my dash back. Oh, oh boy. I got my dash back. I killed somebody. Perfect. No, I should probably try to get to the boss without triggering the other 45, but I'm not sure if that's possible. Because if I kill 20 more, I'm going to have that altar ritual again. So right now it's not too bad, because I have uh, one of the debuffs was that dash that I basically cleansed. I fixed that. But the other debuff is that experience point. I get less experience points from a kill. And you're thinking, well, there's only one. But if you look at the experience points you actually get from the kills here, one is uh, it's quite a bit. See, that guy gave me normally 10 experience, but it's now 9. And the little ones, it's almost like 33% of the experience that you lose out because they give you normally, what is it, 3 or 4? Let's see how much this guy... That guy gives me 4 now, so that would have been 5. So it is quite a big impact, actually. But i rather deal with experience uh, detriment than uh, dealing with the uh, movement speed, because the movement speed is essential against that boss. Um, for, yeah, I'm going to keep my damage, my strike damage. Critical strike damage is just... The moment I crit, it's just I'm going to do so much with the execute. At least that's what I'm kind of banking on here. That was a crit from 164. That's not shooting the corner, yeah? Yeah, this bow is so fast. It's just a, a waterfall. Um, I'm gonna keep the critical strike damage, of course, again. But yeah, it's just a waterfall of arrows here. That's, I should I say, tsunami, maybe. 
That thing is so fast and does more damage, so... Whoa, I didn't think he was going to be able to reach me there, but, uh... Hold on, buddy. Oh, I dodged that one. Because, yeah, you, you don't want to do the boss with, like, half health. It's just, I'm not saying it's not doable for somebody who knows how to fight it, but... <laughs> it's not something I want to try. Uh, we killed the 45 again, so... There's another altar. Well, I, I freaking call it that. The cleansing ritual. Oh. <laughs> I can't more because of the lack of AOE, but hope you guys don't mind it too much. But See, now if you look at the right bottom in that uh, little sphere that uh, keeps track of my kills, the 5 out of 45, you see there's a number 2 spinning. Because this is the second time we fill the sphere, let's put it that way. And if I don't cleanse, I think the enemies, this is, at least this is my understanding, the enemies get a bigger buff. They actually get a buff for the value of 2 times whatever that buff is that they get you know, from uh, me filling up that sphere. I'm not sure how to explain that properly, but let's clean cleanse this. Uh, do we want damage taken? Yeah, I, I don't want to touch movement speed at all. Lose 40 current hit points, or lose 40 movement speed for next... Well, that's 20 kills. So if I'm able to find 20 enemies... Um, and also, you see in the blasting, by the way, I completely forgot about that. We have one additional dash charge right now. I just have to make sure that I find my 20 enemies, just like with the, the shorter dash distance before. I have to kill 20 enemies to get rid of that debuff, what do you call it, that curse. I can't use a warhammer. Okay, two warhammers. So as long as I can get 20 enemies killed before I get to the boss, because I'm not sure how many there are left. Because you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm literally crawling right now with a 40% penalty. Thank God I have dash. Oh, oh, no, no, that was a waste of time. I, I don't do anything with skulls. But yeah, the number two now indicates that I think that the monsters, the creepers, they get two times the amount of bonuses to them if I don't cleanse myself. Um, uh, yeah, I don't use a wand. We have a prophecy fulfilled, lost and found. We'll see that... Uh, well, we have to wait until we die, I guess, because I don't think there's a way back to the beginning where you can actually turn in the prophecies or get the rewards for them unless you die, I think. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... L I'm really slow right now. <laughs> uh, we have to kill ten more, guys. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I hope I'm fast enough to walk up the stairs here. Oh, there's one of those wizards again. Whoa. Yeah, I shoot in all directions because that bow is so fast, I just keep holding it. Keep holding the button down, just keep launching it forever non-stop. And when he's dead, I'll just look in all directions. <laughs> Okay, come on, come on, come on. Well, I'm glad I didn't uh, dash off there, off the wall, because that is possible here, by the way. You can dash those little openings here in the wall. Uh, I don't care about the skull. You can actually fall down and die. See, there's an opening. Whoa. So slow. I need to kill six more. Yeah, there's some rats here. I 
I did discover, by the way, that this green river of sewer, whatever you want to call it, is not damaging. So I can walk through this. Um, okay, so we're faster again. Uh, this is kind of tough. I have dexterity there, though. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a new one, though. Thank God we're uh, walking at normal speed again. So I can make my way over to the boss area. We have 28 out of 45 killed, so we, we want to make sure that we don't reach that number 45 right now. Because the other thing is, is that I, I don't see another altar. The moment you use that altar to cleanse yourself, that ritual, it uh, disappears. So I don't see another altar right now, because we had one here on the bottom, and there's actually further up. But, oh, how do I get up there then? Okay. There's a sparkling there. I don't know what that green thing in the top corner is there, by the way. But yeah, see, we had an altar here in the corner, but th that is gone. Um... So we have to make sure that I, I... Well, I don't think I can even kill 17 anymore here right now. But my problem right now is I'm level 8, which I'm happy about, but I... I am a little bit low on health. So I'm seriously considering just going back, because you can actually... See, I don't think I can reach these guys. I tried it from every angle. I don't care. You can only reach them, I think, with, the, with that fireball that burns through the bottom of that... Uh, I don't know what you call it. So... What I can do is I can go follow that river and I can go in there and then kill some mobs and hopefully get a level and that gives me a little bit more health points. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of risky because I, I don't I want to make sure that I get more health out of it than I lose on these mobs. But yeah, this is basically the entrance to the sewers. Let's make sure I don't lose any health here, because, yeah, that would, of course, be kind of bad. Whoa. Okay. So, we are 32 out of 45. I need a couple of more kills to get some health back. I'm not sure how much that is, actually. Is that 50 or 40? So, I can go in here a little bit. Gate is open. There's a guy we could talk to. Oh, it's called the Gutters. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, that's the guy that we saw before that gave us the rat quest. So he wants to kill Rat Nest. And then to kill the Rat King. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to be happening. I'm just here to uh, kill a few uh, rodents and I'm out of here. Whoa, got going. Whoa. Okay, okay. So it looks like we got 45 health from that one. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take the spark for now. And we have a wand that I care about a wand. And I care about a skull eater. But so I have 175 out of 189. It's, uh, it's the best I can do. Now, I'm slightly worried, though. Because part of the, the strategy to kill that boss is you constantly have to keep moving. And especially if she does one of her one small AoEs. Whoa. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. And... The moment you shoot with your bow, you lose movement speed, of course. And I'm kind of worried about the fact that this bow is super fast, so I hope it does not mean that I move slower, because I'm constantly firing arrows. Well, let me focus on where we're going, actually. And that is kind of what I'm worried about. I love the fact that I get the legendary bow, or whatever you want to call this, unique bow. But I'm basically launching arrows non-stop, and I have to be able to move while doing so. And I will explain that in the boss fight. Let me creep around the corner here to get to this chest without triggering her. Um, I don't know, did we get any rings at all? Yeah, we got a lot of skulls. Yeah, we got that. Okay, here we go. Okay. So you kind of have to keep moving. So this is something you have to dash from. The big circle you also kind of have to dash from. But the small circle, look. If I keep moving... I move, I'm fast enough to move out of that circle 
without having to use a dash in most cases, you see? Oh. And that's the whole key, because in the first time I did oh the first time I did this, I was actually constantly dashing the whole time all over the place. Anything pop up below me, I was dashing, and that is basically wrong. The little ones, the big ones you have to dash, especially that the that, that icy AoE what that she does. But the little ones you can walk out of if you just keep going in the same direction. If you stop or you change direction, you're gonna get stuck. Okay, whoa. That worked. So the, the boat did not make me slower at all, compared to a normal bow, I guess. So that was uh, really handy. Uh, we have that weird necklace here again. I, I, I just... I don't really know what to do with that necklace. I, why would I... <sighs> increase damage taken, increase damage dealt. It's good for ranged, of course, but I just... I don't know. Uh, then we have a wand. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything with that. But yeah, that's basically what I kind of found out. You just have to walk through those little circles, and the other ones you kind of have to dash out of. Now, we have four dashes available, so that helps. You, you kind of have to be careful that you don't dash out of the circle, otherwise you really start taking damage. But wow. Yeah, I'm glad we got that done. Um, well, <laughs> I'm not sure what, what to expect now, of course. Well, let me uh, st stick myself in a corner here and get completely stuck. Okay, so we can go over here, because I think I can get on the roof of the houses here. Oh, I didn't think I was going to be able to aggro that one. So there's a magic gate. There's nothing I can do with that. Kind of cool, uh, really bright graphics, though. But yeah, there's nothing I can do with that gate. So I wonder at what point that opens up. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, that bow is so fast. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this connects to the roof. Where I can get that spark, hopefully. As long as I don't fall off, wouldn't be the first time, right? Uh, there's nothing in the north side there. Uh, is there anything down here? No. I don't think so. No. Okay. Um, well, I guess we go over this bridge. Do I have an angle on these? Can I reach them? Uh, of course not. <laughs> Let's uh, not fall down. Couldn't do that much damage, but I have to, have to walk all the way back again. That's a spark. Um, so far I've only seen the blue sparks, by the way. Uh, there's a ring. Frost resistance. I think that's our first ring, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so now what then? Um, yeah, I cannot make this jump here, can I? No. So I guess we follow the path behind that boss then? think... Oh, I was going to say, I think this connects to the area that we were before. Uh, that's a nice position for a bow guy. A long bow guy. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, the cooldown timers right now. Perfect. Then... Yeah, it's kind of tricky maneuvering here. Whoa. Couple of fast dogs. Whoa! I was afraid of that. Dashing in the wrong section there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just uh, get our line of sight here. So, there we go. Okay. So, there's somebody on the roof you can speak to. If I fall down here, I'll probably die. Whoa. Uh, let's see. Everybody's confused that we speak to, by the way. They have no clue how they got there or what they are doing. Uh, we fulfill the prophecy, profane practice, and it's a playable character. And elementalist. Okay, it's kind of like a wizard, I guess. So that's pretty cool. So we have a, a magic caster. 
Not in order to use that, you have to die. <laughs> That's basically the story of the game. To use most progression, because we also have 282 coins, and I, I don't think I can go back. Until, well, when you die, you don't get the coins, so I'm not really sure. Maybe at some point there's going to be a merchant that we can buy stuff from. Okay, okay. Another spark. Um, I could probably drop down here if I drop down on the proper side. On the, uh, well, not this side. That's, oh, no, I'm not going to... Okay, this is fine. Uh, by the way, we have number three showing, because we killed so many creatures again, that uh, we have filled our little sphere. Let's call it the darkness, globe of darkness. And I don't know where there's an altar. So, yeah, um... Because we have basically cleansed the whole area. There's nothing we can do in the other behind that boss. I don't. I don't think I can get down here. No. So we have to go into the sewer. And I'm not sure if there's going to be a cleansing altar because right now I have three. Well, I think it's three times the amount of the the enemy gets three times the amount of boosts. So I'm cursed three times over. I'm not sure if that makes sense. What I say. But, yeah, this is painful, because I, I don't want to run around with that curse on me, and that debuff. With 73 held out of, what is it, 200? Especially in an area that I have no clue, I've never been before, so... The goddess, is that another spark? Okay. Grim Harvest, so not a prophecy that we fulfilled, but I have no clue what that is. Uh... Oh, that was pretty cool how that opened up there. Oh, that's pretty cool. But let's kill all the rats while it will ador adoring uh, scenery here. Plague rat, plague rat, plague rat. We had one alpha rat so far. I think we had the quest, if I remember correctly, to kill like five or ten of them. Uh, we'll take execute. See, here we go. Current enemy modifies. 45 hit points, 60% max hit points, 70% 5% increased damage dealt. They have 30 armor and 30 is a 30 or 38. 30 all resistances. That's what they currently have. Because I don't cleanse it. They get that because that is currently active. Because I filled that sphere up. I have all these kills. So yeah, this is... Uh, this is whoa, whoa, what the hell? Oh, it's kind of like the rats. Okay, we have to kill a couple and... Uh, hello. Uh, oh, that is, must be one of those nests, I guess. Putrid... Nest. Um, is that going to keep spawning while I'm dancing here? Yeah, that's fantastic. Thank God we have an extra dash, but this is... Whoa. <laughs> and then knowing that they have more health, more armor, and they do more damage right now. Yeah, look at this. Oh, go, boy. Come on, let's keep shooting. Keep shooting at the nest there. Okay, okay, okay. Do we get a nice bonus for this? Like a health potion, for example? Nope. Wow. Is that a nest? Okay. Nope, there's no gate closing behind me here. But yeah, that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with uh, mobs that are pretty buffed right now. I forgot what it said. What was it? 75% extra health plus 60 health points or something like that? that? That's some crazy numbers right there. So I need to find one of those ritual things ASAP. I have 30 health, so... I'm not sure how long this journey is going to continue. What the hell is that thing? Uh, can I avoid this? Can I just go and run this way? <laughs> I, I might be able to, actually. Um, yeah, but let's see. I can probably kite around here. Whoa, that is... I'm not even sure if that's a Rat King. Whoa. Well, as long as I can kite... Oh, wait, hold on. That green stuff is still laying around. Does that mean that that is going to do decay damage when I get into it? Then I'll try to avoid this. Whoa. So I'm pretty sure that this creature here, this rat... Oh. Yeah, I think I'm taking damage. Yeah, this is not going to last much longer then. This rat is probably doing... Has, has all these buffs. See, at the moment I walk in, I took damage. Whoa, okay. So like I said, I I'm pretty sure that rat has all these buffs. So it does, what was it again, 75% more damage or 60% more damage and more health and everything? Whoa. Okay. 
So that is pretty crazy. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Question mark. Uh, that probably means that you can do a random. Yeah, okay, so that will randomly pick a character for you then. And then we have Ruvius, an elementalist, and an ambitious elemental mage, thirsty not for ordinary power, but the arcane might of the unseen. Skill, elemental overload. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. I'm glad we took down the boss, only to die a miserable death in the gutters. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.